One of the main reasons we came out here was because of this security footage of the lights blinking and this figure walking and pacing back and forth. Yeah. And we actually, when we got up there to that camera, there was a cobweb <laughs> on it. So it's they're like forming, there. I think, there. in a little uh -huh. groove around it. Mm -hmm. So we're not worried about that. Nothing paranormal with the figure. Sure. But as far as the lights going crazy in that footage, we brought an electrician in. He checked it out. So Marty, could a power draw cause what we just saw in this footage? Absolutely. OK. It happens time and time again in the paranormal realms that you'll have a device with a battery in it, and that device is on, and all of a sudden, the power will drain from that device. To continue this theme, we had a situation where uh, these guys are in the auditorium. Yeah, basically, we were starting a session, and there's these row of lights on the top of the auditorium, and they all just went out and dim within like three or four seconds. Yeah. So we, we proceeded to go into the front room where the uh, control panel is with the lighting board and everything. Uh -huh. Tried moving everything, trying to restart them, hit all the buttons. Couldn't figure it out. What I thought was interesting that usually when you know a light goes out, it just goes out. But these right. actually <laughs> dim. We actually have the footage of it. So yeah, get up there. Unless you want to go up there and try to create it, and I'll watch. But yeah, here she goes. Well, I'm a lady. <laughs> there you go. There watch. There it goes. Oh yeah. So do you think that it pulls this energy, which gives it more power to we feel make that's a what noise? It was doing you know, that night. We kind of noticed in our own investigation this happening a lot. We had flashlights fully on, ready to go, turn off, and then turn back on. Oh, Video cameras yeah, turning off, not being Why able to stay on. Again, off. with full battery, it doesn't make any sense. We started to say, you know, let's, let's test this out. So we got this device called a Tesla speaker. You plug it in, and what it's doing is it's pumping out a lot of energy okay. into the air. And then we put five different flashlights out, just trying to put an energy source for sure. this entity to work with. And we had a voice recorder, and we put that down there, too. We're asking for names. We're trying to see if anything can happen. And then we realized, like, none of the lights are turning off, nothing. We're like, what's going on? And then our investigator, Brandon, realized that the voice recorder had dried. It was recording and going. So while this was happening, we caught some voices. I'll play them for you. OK. It's a piece of crap. See this area? Uh-huh. We'll isolate it. You can listen on headphones. That was pretty clear. I thought it was you saying something. He wasn't even there. I wasn't even there. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's amazing. Strange, right? How it says goosebumps up my spine. <laughs> clearly a voice that yeah. we wanted to show it to you for how strong it was, rather than for what it was saying. I hear something negative, like no or don't. Or... Yeah, yeah. Then we got this one. <laughs> See how close that was to the microphone? Here, I'll let you listen on the headphones. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Something it's, with a go. Yeah, it's maddening. We listened to that so many times. I don't know. It, the end sounds like go, but yeah. I don't know mm -hmm. what the beginning, time to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it says, we have a cool principle. <laughs> 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 so with all of this being said, let's look at what's really here. Nobody was harmed. Nobody was attacked. In fact, two of our investigators had some pretty amazing experiences here. Okay. So our investigator, Mustafa, was in the gym with Brandon. He got to the point where he was on one side of the bleachers and Brandon was on the other, and he felt like something was sitting near him. It's right above me. Like, could feel it. And I then he felt like somebody was holding like his face, not in a bad way, just like, like, like a this, grandma would, you know? Yeah. Like this, and then he felt like, like this. the sensation wrap around him, like somebody was hugging him. And he said that was nice. Yeah. Now, our investigator, Rochelle, she went in the gym, had the same exact yes. experience, except the hug was from behind. She even felt on the face, and then the hug came from behind. Oh. Wow. So, I mean, crazy. that's crazy. Wow. The only experiences we had were people reaching out to us or, quite honestly, giving people hugs. Like, I can't imagine it being more positive than that. Very positive experience, this, this whole building. Right. You know, even though a place may have activity, it's not bad. Yeah. I really feel like your school spirit is quite literally alive and well. And yeah. you know, I, mean, I, think it, I think you might literally have some school spirit here. And I yeah. it couldn't be in better hands. You've got the right mentality. And if you ever need anything, you can always get in touch with us. We'd love to come back. Yes. Great. Yeah. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks Thanks you're great. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thanks for being here.
Hey Ghost Hunters fans, be sure to subscribe to the A&E YouTube channel for more paranormal content and catch full episodes on A&E or AETV.com.